What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, hope everybody's staying safe out there, uh, social distancing, keeping six feet apart, washing your hands. Um, hopefully, hopefully some of these videos can kind of keep you occupied um, while everybody's kind of on lockdown uh, for now. Um, and today's video should be pretty exciting. Uh, I'm going to be going through the top five cards in my collection right now. Now, these aren't based entirely on the value of the cards. It's basically just my own personal preference. Um, I mean, it, it just so happens that most of them are the most expensive cards in my collection. Uh, although, I don't really know what they'd be selling for right now because we've kind of gone through a little bit of a market crash in the uh, basketball card world right now. But I'm not looking to sell these anytime soon, so that's not really a big concern for me right now. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Just going to kind of slow roll these. Just so there's no surprises and actually I'm gonna kind of slide the stack back here so we leave some room to show each one at a time all right so and I'm working with a new camera angle today I'm trying to kind of trying a couple different angles out just to see what works best um, this one, we can kind of get a closer look at the cards, which I thought would be good going through these cards today. So, yeah, we'll kind of we'll kind of play around with it over the next couple videos and see what works, see what see what's the best. But here is um, starting from the bottom. So, number five. This is Kobe Bryant Origins memorabilia out of. This year's Origins. Um, I actually just pulled this about a week ago. Picked up a box of Origins from my local LCS. Um, didn't really have anything better to do, so <clears throat> grabbed that box. And this was one of the cards from there, and it's one of my favorites right now. Um, just really like the card art on these Origins cards in general. Um, you know, not a super crazy patch, just just a plain single color yellow there, but um, I don't know, just anything Kobe right now. Uh, it just seems kind of cool to have, um, unfortunately. Wish it could be under better circumstance, but yeah, there's the back. Pretty cool. Big Lakers logo, and it is game-worn slash used material. So that's always nice. So yeah, just, uh, yeah, nothing nothing crazy there. No auto or anything. Just, uh, just a cool Kobe card that I really like right now. Alright. And... Number four <clears throat> is this Pascal Siakam Panini Black Friday uh, signature. You can see it's out of 25, 23 of 25 right there. And I pulled this from the Black Friday packs um, this year. And it was probably... Probably one of the biggest pulls I had, or I had had up to that point. Um, I really only started collecting cards um, kind of this past summer. Just kind of started to get back into it. Didn't really know what I was doing when I first started out. Uh, and then once, once uh, winter started to come, that's when I kind of started to understand things a little bit more. So I picked up picked up some stuff from Panini's website to try and snag some of these Black Friday packs uh, for fun. And yeah, really cool pull. Great player. 
Um, I think I think he's going to continue to get better as time goes on. Um, you know, he's just gotten better every single year, it seems like. Uh, I've heard he had just like a crazy work ethic. So, yeah, I think this is one I'm going to going to plan on keeping for a while because I think he's just going to continue to get better, maybe even get himself in that MVP conversation within the next couple of years. Um, yeah, so that's number four. All right. Number three is a fun one. Got our first Zion Williamson here. This is the Silver Wave out of the Donner's Optic Complete Set that came out uh, maybe like a month ago. I bought this a long time ago and <laughs> had no idea if I just wasted 80 bucks or what, you know, what to expect. But turns out I made a good investment and this is probably, well, definitely not probably, but the best card I got out of there, because um, unfortunately I didn't didn't pull anything crazy out of the green, uh, the green rookie packs. Um, I did get a DeAndre Hunter, that was pretty well centered, but that was about it out of there. But yeah, this guy looks in pretty good condition, uh, centering. I think all around centering looks really good, top to bottom, left to right. I looked really closely at it. Can't find any, you know, print lines or really anything wrong with it. So, um, this is probably, I, I've never sent a card in to get graded yet. Um, but I think when I do send that first batch, this will definitely be one that I send in. Um, unfortunately, as a lot of you probably know that are watching this, uh, PSA and BGS are closed, uh, right now. So we'll see how that all turns out. Hopefully, hopefully they can open up operations pretty soon and people can get their cards back. All right. But I will not keep you waiting longer. And... For number two, we've got another card from that Origins box that I opened up a week ago. And this is a Kobe White RPA um, on sticker, 57 to 99. Pretty sick card. Um, I'm a big fan of Kobe White. Um, I do think his signature is pretty trash, <laughs> to, to be honest on these. It's, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's definitely unique in that it's just so simple. But, I don't know. I, I kind of go for the guys that have the, the really sophisticated, I don't know, just beautiful signatures. But I'm not complaining because this is a sweet card. Um, and this is player worn used, so fortunately it's, unfortunately it's not game worn according to this, but it's all right. Again, card art on those Origins cards is pretty sick. Um, yeah. Hope he, hope he does well. Hope he continues to do well. This one, this is probably one I might be willing to part with. Um, just cause I, I mean, I, I like him. I, I think he's going to do really well, but I'm not really a big Bulls fan. Um, I'm a Timberwolves fan and I was actually really hoping the Wolves would draft him, uh, in the last draft, but they went with Jared Culver instead, which is not looking great so far, but I don't know. I think he's got some, some, uh, potential as well, but we shall see. All right, and number one, I just said I'm a Timberwolves fan, and 
This is actually the only card in this list that I did not pull. I purchased this on eBay, maybe, I wanna say maybe like a month and a half ago, maybe two months. It's my first big purchase. It's not really that expensive. It was probably only like 50 bucks, but you'll just see. This is a Ricky Rubio RPA, or sorry, not RPA, not a rookie card, <laughs> um, but a patch auto from National Treasures. I believe it's, let's see, I believe it's 20, yes, 2015-16. Ricky Rubio is just my favorite player, even though he still doesn't play for the Wolves. Um, I've just always followed him, um, even after he left the Wolves, and he's kind of my main PC. So I saw this on eBay, made an offer, and here it is. He's got a he's got a pretty sweet signature, um, and that patch is looking really nice too. Um, yeah, nineteen to twenty five. National Treasures, big time card. Probably, I mean, besides his rookie cards, I would I would imagine this has got to be like one of his bigger cards out of National Treasures. Um, I mean, if anybody knows any different, definitely let me know. Um, always looking to add add to the Rubio collection. Um, but yeah. That is it. That is my top five. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and one other thing I did want to get to, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, um, but in my first video, I did mention um, trying to trying to put together a giveaway. Um, and I think I decided that what I'm going to do is try and do giveaways when I reach certain subscriber levels. Um, so I think the first one will be 100 subscribers. So uh, I just kind of want to see, you know, what this channel can do, what the potential is. So yeah, once we get to 100 subs, uh, be on the lookout for that first giveaway. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And again, hope everybody's uh, staying safe and uh, Having a fun time in uh, quarantine. <laughs> See you in the next one.